the morning news. Getting a manicure or a pedicure is supposed to be a fun and a clean experience with beautiful results. But many times, what you don't see at the nail salon can harm you sometimes severely. There's countless stories of customers exposed to harmful bacteria, even having surgery after unsanitary tools were used on their hands and feet. Well, here with the five tips to tell if your nail salon is safe and sanitary is Lisa Tepp. She's also the owner of Sesson Spa in Virginia, your own spa. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Lisa, Audra. this kind of scary topic, but you need to talk about it. When you go to the nail salon, a lot of people don't realize the tools are supposed to be sanitized after each and every customer, but not always the case, right? That's very true. Especially when we're talking about these. For example, we're looking at the buffers, files, nail files. Tell us the story behind these and what we should be looking for. Well, this is a category of tools that we like to call, they're porous. Okay. And they're meant for single use. Mm -hmm. um, this is a what we like to call a communal foot buffer. Okay. We've opted to actually use a foot file in mm -hmm. place of this buffer simply because it is uh, you're able to sterilize, sterilize it. Them. So many spas are still, they use these over and over and over again for each client. Yes, yes, and it's, it's porous, it's picking up skin, you can still cut skin with it. Wow. We, what we've opted to do is cut the buffer uh -huh. into threes and we will use one buffer for each client, for each right? client and we'll throw it away. That's really, really smart and good to know. And your spa actually sterilizes the utensils. You mentioned the way that you do it. A lot of times you'll see, you know, the canister with the blue water. It's called barbicide. Right. You say that's not good enough to sterilize the utensils. There's a process before that, right? Right. Um, barbicide is good enough if it's done for the correct amount of time. Okay. Uh, the tools have to be cleaned before it's placed in the barbicide and mm -hmm. it should be in the barbicide for at least 20 minutes. Okay. What we've opted to do is we, we clean our tools, we pouch them, and then we sterilize them in an autoclave. And then bring them out for each person. And mm -hmm. a lot of women and, and men don't realize you can bring your own tools to the salon as well, mm -hmm. and they can just do that. And you know where they're coming from, right? Right. Okay. You do know where they're coming from, but you also need to ensure that you're cleaning them at home. Okay. Mm -hmm. Speaking of cleaning, let's talk about the pedicure chairs. Those should be cleaned in a different way than what most places clean them, right? Right. Okay. Uh, a lot of places you'll find they'll use household cleaners, and those are just not strong enough for uh, commercial use. Okay. Um, in the industry, there are spa cleaners that are made especially for pedicure chairs, mm -hmm. and pedicure chairs need to be disinfected after each and every client and using the uh, the proper t the proper types of, of cleaners. Yes. There are the little jets that come out in the pedicure chairs. Right. There's bacteria that can gather in those little jets, right? That's right. And That's so right. how do they clean that out? Well, using the solution uh -huh. uh, recommended by the manufacturer of the chair, okay. if you run the cycle after each and every client, it's going to get into the jet area mm -hmm. and really clean out the bacteria. Okay, manicure should also lay down a clean towel for each and every client, right? That's correct. Your hands should not be touching the one that the client used right before. Uh, you can use a drill on a woman's nails, but obviously cutting is a big problem. Right. What do you do? A drill is a great tool if it's uh, permitted by your state board. Mm -hmm. Um, and the person who's using it, if they're properly trained, okay. it's a really great tool. Great um, things to look for, too. So mm -hmm. the bottom line here is that if your salon, if the people that are there are able to clearly explain what's going on, then you're okay. That's right. Right? If they're not, watch out, right? That's right. All right. Good information. Thank you so much, Lisa. We Thank appreciate you. it. And stick around. There's still more to come.